Hey, first grade, this is week two, and we're gonna do day one, and the name of this story is Little Red Riding Hood. We even have some stories that I, some pictures that I'm gonna show you that goes along with the story. So I'm gonna hold those up too, okay? Once there was a sweet little girl who was loved by all who knew her, but most of all, by her grandmother who could not do enough for her. Once the grandmother sent the girl a cloak with a red velvet hood. The little girl was so pleased with the cloak that she cherished it and wore it every day. So she became known as Little Red Riding Hood. One day her mother said to her, Little Red Riding Hood, your grandmother is feeling sick. I would like you to go and visit her. Take her some of the cakes we baked yesterday. They will do her good. Now go quickly before it gets too warm. But remember, stay on the path and do not stop along the way. I will do just as you say, Mother, promised Little Red Riding Hood. So, Little Red Riding Hood started on her way. Her grandmother lived in a house in the woods, a half an hour's walk from her village. Red Riding Hood only had just entered the wood when she came upon a wolf. The wolf longed to eat Little Red Riding Hood for lunch, but Little Red Riding Hood did not know what a wicked animal he was, so she was not afraid of him. Good morning, Little Red Riding Hood, said the wolf. Good morning, wolf, she answered. And where are you going so early, he asked. To my granny's house. And what's in that basket? Some cakes we baked yesterday. Grandmother is sick and the cakes will make her feel better. And where does your grandmother live? In the woods, a short distance from here, in a cottage under three big oak trees, said Little Red Riding Hood. Mm-hmm, said the wolf as he thought to himself. Hmm. What a tasty morsel that little girl would be. But she's not big enough for a meal. I must find a way to eat her and her grandmother too. The wolf walked along beside Little Red Riding Hood for a while. Then he said, Why, look at all of the pretty flowers. Why don't you stop and rest and pick some of them? You're hurrying along as if you were late for school, yet the birds are singing and everything is pleasant out here in the woods. Little Red Riding Hood looked up and saw the sunlight, and she saw it dancing in all of the trees. She saw the lovely flowers all around her, and she thought, I am sure Grandmother would be pleased if I took her a bunch of fresh flowers. Forgetting what she had promised her mother, she left the path and went out of her way into the woods to pick some flowers. Each time she saw one, she saw others even prettier further and further along, so she strayed deeper and deeper into the woods. Then the wolf hurried straight to Grandmother's house and knocked on the cottage door. Who's there? said a little voice. It is I, Little Red Riding Hood, said the wolf trying to sound like a little girl. Oh, lift the latch and let yourself in, dear, said the old woman. Look, here's the wolf. He's knocked on the door. He's getting into the house with the grandmother. Uh-oh, what do you think he's gonna do? I am too weak to get out of bed. The wolf lifted the latch and swung open the door. Before Grandmother could realize what had happened, the wolf gobbled her up in one mouthful. <gasps> oh, no. There's Grandmother right there. Let's see what he's going to do. Looks like to me he's putting on Grandmother's cap. That sly wolf dressed himself in Grandmother's nightgown and nightcap, and with a wicked grin, he got into the bed and pulled the covers up. It was quite the disguise. 
Meanwhile, Little Red Riding Hood had picked all the flowers she could carry and found her way back to the path. She walked on quickly until she came to Grandmother's house. She was surprised to find the door open, and as she stepped inside, she felt very strange. Oh dear, she said to herself. This morning I was so glad to be going to see my grandmother. Why do I feel so frightened now? She took a deep breath and called out, Good morning, Grandmother! But there was no answer. She went up to the bed, and then she saw her grandmother, or so she thought. The wolf pulled the covers up under his chin and pulled the nap cap, nightcap down over his eyes. Little Red Riding Hood thought her grandmother looked very strange indeed. There's a picture of grandmother. It looks more like a wolf, doesn't it? Oh, Granny, she said, what big ears you have. The better to hear you with, my dear said the wolf. Mm -hmm, said Little Red Riding Hood. Granny must be very sick indeed, for her voice is much deeper than it used to be. And Granny, what big eyes you have! The better to see you with, my dear. And Grandmother, what big teeth you have! The better to eat you, cried the wolf. As he sprang out of the bed, and he swallowed Little Red Riding Hood in one gulp. After his meal, the wolf was feeling stuffed. He lay down on the bed and went to sleep and began to snore very loudly. A hunter who passed by the cottage heard the snoring and he thought, my, that old woman sounds terrible. I'd better look inside and check on her. The hunter walked inside and he saw the wolf. He instantly saw the wolf's big belly. He saw the wolf's big, big belly right here. He realized that the wolf had eaten the old woman. He knew he had to set her free. The hunter set them free and out jumped Little Red Riding Hood and Granny. Oh, I'm so grateful you saved us, said Little Red Riding Hood. Granny, too, thanked the hunter for his kindness. When the wolf woke up, he was so shocked to see all the people standing there before him, and he ran away, never to be seen again. Little Red Riding Hood sat down with the grandmother and the hunter, and together they ate the cakes that the Little Red Riding Hood had brought. And Little Red Riding Hood said to herself, After this, I shall always do what my mother tells me, and I shall never leave the path again, not even to pick pretty flowers. So here's the questions that go along with that story. Why did the main why was the main character called Little Red Riding Hood? Hmm. What instructions does mother give Little Red Riding Hood? Hmm. Does she follow the instructions too? What does she do instead of following her mother's instructions? Why does the wolf tell Little Red Riding Hood to go and pick the flowers? What is the wolf's disguise? Would you have been fooled by his disguise? What does the wolf do to grandmother and later to Little Red Riding Hood? How does the hunter who saves the grandmother and Little Red Riding Hood discover that it was the wolf in the first place? Could this story really happen? Is it fact or do you think it's fiction? Do you think it's a made up story? And how do you know it's a made up story? Okay, second grade, I mean first grade. This is the end of our story number one. Thanks guys.